up, you guys? What's up, divas? What's up, divos? So it's your girl, April. Y'all already know what time it is. It's time for Real Talk Wednesday. So I know I look a mess. Like, <clears throat> excuse me, first of all, I'm using my little wig grip to um hold down my little side hairs and stuff, you know. Let me tell y'all, I am not the best braider, but I'm definitely not the best braider when it comes to wearing nails. But huge thank you to everybody, though. Gotta say this, huge thank you to everybody who told me to soak off those nails. And I did that. It took about an hour. My daughter, Tati, came over, soaked them off. And then she got one of those little buffer machines like the... um. The nail salon, you know, the one that they got, a, you know, whatever they call those. She got one of those. So she did buff them down and got them off for me. So I did go back and get them done. I got them this color this time. I do have my own gel polish that's this color from Nail Addict, which was crappy. But this is just from the salon. Same length. They did cut my nails underneath. My nails was like all the way up to here. So they did have to cut my nails down. But hey, it is what it is. But yes, you guys, huge thank you to everybody who left their comments. And I just follow suit. But thank you, everybody. I just had to tell you. All oh, thank you. Um, And other than that, okay, so listen. So sorry about that, guys. My battery died. Had to switch it up. So listen, uh, girls, I'm like really happy right now. Really, really happy. So remember last weekend, not last weekend, but last week when I told you guys that I had gained weight. I bought the battery for the... um. The scale and then realized I gained weight. Listen, I'm gonna just tell you how much I weigh. I was 219, 2 freaking 19. And I know the last time the scale worked, I was not that. So I've been taking these pills that I had purchased off of Amazon. They are keto pills. And I was taking them for like 45 days. I was trying to lose the weight on my own, but with a little bit of help without going to the weight doctor, which is a little bit more pricey. You know, I always try to save money, okay? Now, these pills, hopefully I will remember to instill a picture. I did purchase them off of Amazon. And yeah, there are so many different keto pills on Amazon in general to losing weight. And you really do need to do your research. So this is the second round that I've had these pills. And they are called keto. And it said on the packaging, it just said a lot of different things that I really didn't read at all. So that's the number one key. You really should do your reading and research. So anyway, I did go back to the weight doctor that Tuesday for a second, you know, second try. Once again, my blood pressure was still sky high. So, you know, I jotted down how much my blood pressure was. And good thing, I did make an appointment. As soon as I left the weight doctor, I did make an appointment at the doctor doctor. And I was able to get, um, you know, put in for that day. I went in at 120. I went to the weight doctor. It was 9 o'clock. I'm an early bird. I like to get shit done early. So my blood pressure is high. You know, that is my doctor. They did say that, you know, my blood pressure is out of range. It's not normal. And I also did bring the um, pills and vitamins that I was taking and that I've been taking, you know, just to see. So it turns out that the B, the keto pills has this thing on it that says BHB salt. I really never paid it no mind. All I know is it's supposed to have made you lose weight. Girl, let me tell you, the doctor read the bottle. She was like, there's so much sodium in here. That's probably why you're, you know, gaining the weight. Not the pork chops, because girl, those pork chops was good. I was making pork chops like two two to three times a week. I had not made pork chops in like over five years, you guys. So I started making them again, and everybody in my house loved them. Even Tinky was loving them. Like, my daughter Tati was loving them. Everybody was loving them. So I was making them like two to three times a week. Like, I like fried pork chops. I haven't ate them in like five years. So, you know, a girl was like, I was fixated on those pork chops. And I was really hoping that that wasn't like part of it. Plus, I did learn how to make Italian sausage on my gas grill outside. So I was making pork chops and Italian sausage together, you know. So anyway, um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm still liking the pork chops and I'm still trying to pork chops out. But I was told to not take those keto pills anymore. She gave me some high blood pressure pills. I have to take a half a pill every day, okay? So I take a half a pill and it... And it also makes you pee, okay? So Tuesday evening is when I started taking these pills prescribed to me. Girl, let me tell y'all, I had peed all night long, okay? And then the next day, which was Wednesday, I was like, I'm not about to be taking these in the morning time or the daytime when I'm out and about running errands. And then I end up peeing on myself. Like, that's not about to be cool. Definitely not about to be cool. So I took them again Wednesday evening and peed all night too. Let me tell y'all, by... What Thursday morning, I was 209, okay? So I lost 10 pounds in two days. Girl, now I weigh 207, and I, like, I peed my life away, basically. Thank you. Thank you, doctor, okay? So I guess that was the issue. It wasn't, like, weight, but it was water weight, salt, or whatever. Maybe I peed all the salt. I don't know. I've never, ever had high blood pressure in my life. So 
And I'm, I'm, I'm glad I'm still taking the water pills, but I don't, I take them in the daytime now. I also have a blood pressure machine that I wear on my wrist to take my blood pressure every day because I have to jot this stuff down. But I am not going to the bathroom like urinating all day anymore. My best friend said it's because it's flushing, it's flushed most of the salt out. She too takes um, high blood pressure pills too. It's weird because, you know, I never thought that salt would make you like bloated like that. Or I, I just never thought that. And I guess you really do need to do your research. Do I want to go back to the weight doctor? Hell yeah, I still want to go back to the weight doctor because I still want to lose a little bit of weight. But I'm not like, I'm not 219 anymore. So I'm happy about that. Okay. Back to 207. Would like to be back to like 190 where I left off at, but we'll get there. But yeah, I thought I would just share that with you guys. To share this with you guys. So my daughter Tati bought me this amazing brush. She swears by this brush. She had one for herself. And it's this brush right here. It is the, I'm going to put it back in here like it's brand new. It's called, and you guys can see it even better. It's called the Tangle Buster Tangle Buster Detangler, okay? And it has like these, each piece has like these teeth. So they're not, they're not connected, like separated. And if it, it's a flexible fingers, gentle to scalp, great for all hair types. This is a really good brush. Um, I did use it today because I had to rebraid my hair. And normally I will use like a comb, a wide tooth comb or a denim brush. And it does hurt and I do have to tug. But with this one, I noticed that it was so much easier to, you know, brush through my hair. And it is gentle. So just thought I would share this with you guys. It's called the Tangle Buster Detangler. And it's by a company called Careco, if you guys can see that. If I can find like a link to it, I'll definitely post it. But you can follow them on Careco Brushes, um, which is on, oh, Careco, Care, K-A-R-E-C-O.com. Really good brush. Um, it is flexible. So if you guys are looking for a good brush to detangle your hair with, you might want to try this. My daughter Tati's hair is way thicker than mine's, way curlier, and she swears by this brush. She loves it. So yeah, really neat. You know, I, I, I do like it. Now, we're just going to get into this real talk, you guys. It's kind of late in the evening. It is 721. Normally, I'm so organized. I do this in the morning on Mondays, but it's still Monday, but it's in the evening. And the reason why I didn't do it today, Monday, is because I really was kind of under the weather. I wasn't really feeling that great. I had a long weekend. You know, I had um, time at my best friend's house, best friend Rebecca. We were at her house. We was swimming. We was having a barbecue. We was just, you know, reminiscing because we hadn't seen each other in a while. So we were back to, you know, chilling like we normally do. And then on Sunday, I went and hang out, hung out with my kids at the amusement park, I guess you want to call it, um, Castles and Coasters. So it was super duper hot. So yeah, we did have a good time with that. So I had a long weekend. I really didn't get much sleep. My back hurts and I was kind of under the weather. My allergies are killing me, like tired of sneezing, all of that stuff. But other than that, you know what? I'm happy to be alive. I'm happy to have woken up this morning. Praise God. Thank you. I'm happy to have woken up. You know, you wake up. That's all. I, that's why I'm an early morning person. I love to wake up. You know, you refresh. It's a new day. Whatever you want to sleep with that's heavy on your mind, your heart, wake up and let it be light and just, you know, make it a new day. So I'm a morning person and you know, I was kind of a little bit not feeling too well today. But, um, you know, I, I relax and release. I never relax. Like, what I tell y'all, I don't ever relax. Like, I never sit down and watch TV. Like, I will sit down and watch TV. But if I'm sitting down watching TV, I'm on my computer editing a video. I just, I, I really need to multitask. And that's me. But I forced myself. Girl, let me just say this. And then we're going to get into this real talk. So, I did watch TV today. Like, straight without any computer, without any phone. And I watched a Lifetime movies. I haven't watched Lifetime movies in, like, forever. Like, so I watched... These two movies on Lifetime today. The first one is called Lust. Lust, a seven deadly sin story. And then the second one is called Envy, a seven deadly sin story. And they're on Lifetime, all black actors. I watched both of those and they were really, really good. So I'm definitely going to have to rewatch that again tonight just so I could sit in the bed and relax. I'm trying to give myself a little bit more me time, you know, because I really don't do that. But anyway, if you want to do a real talk, let's get into this one. I will provide the information down below of my real talk email, which is aprilsrealtalk at gmail.com. But if you want a real talk, go ahead and send me one. Put in the subject line, real talk. And if you want your names changed in the, in the email, make sure that you mention that. If not, then I'm going to change it for you. Enough of my rambling on. Let's get into this real talk, girl. Okay. 
You guys, so this one was already titled for me, Real Talk, Stimulus BD, okay? Stimulus BD. We're gonna find out what it means. Afternoon, April. My name is, let's see, first of all, let's see if she changed it. My name is Victoria. I am a single mother of a beautiful little girl who is seven years old. My child's father and I have not been together since I was pregnant. He has since moved on and we had struggles with co-parenting with one another including him taking breaks from fatherhood when the mood suits him. I applied for child support years ago and I have been getting $350 per month for our daughter. Seems as though he may be splitting with his girlfriend because he is asking for half of my daughter's stimulus plus half of my taxes and to be taken off of child support. He watches her once per week because I asked him to help out because I work on the weekends. That's basically it. I try to be reasonable, but I am a single mother raising his daughter. Why is he in my pocket? I am afraid if I put my foot down, he will take a break again, which will make my daughter upset. I need your advice quick because I keep fending him off saying I didn't receive my money yet. Let me know because I really respect your advice. Thank you in advance. Thank you. Thank you. Hold the fuck up. <clears throat> okay, first of all, there's no reason for you to even be writing me this because the answer should be fucking no. So let's just get into this. So we got Victoria here who got a seven-year-old beautiful little girl and her and her baby daddy have not been together since she's been pregnant. So now we know what the BD stands for in stimulus. Stimulus baby daddy, okay? So this dude, Victoria's baby father pays $350 per month for child support and watches her kid, their daughter, on the weekend because Victoria has to work. First of all, let's just get this straight. He's not watching her. I hate when men say, oh, I gotta watch my kids. I gotta watch my kids. No, you don't. You don't, you're not a babysitter. You're not a, in, a living nanny. Those are your children. You're not watching them. Those are your children. I hate when people say, oh, I'm gonna have my, my baby father watch them. No, that's his responsibility. He he made her, he made him, he made her, he made him. That's his responsibility too. He's supposed to share the parenting as well. You're not watching, so let's just get that out. She asks him to watch the daughter once a week. First of all, we're not watching. We're not watching. you doing what your fatherly duties is supposed to do. Second of all, he pays $350 per month in child support. That's great because a girl like me only got $12 a month for my daughter Tati for child support. All right, that you can even buy a bag of diapers with that. But here's the thing: so you pay, she pays 300, he pays 350 dollars a month in child support and takes breaks from paying child support when it suits him. When he want a vacation from being a father, then that's when he, he does. You know what I'm saying? When he decides he don't want to pay child support, he takes a break. Probably take, takes a break from working, quits his job or some shit like that. Either way. When it suits him well, he takes a break from being a father, okay? But here's the other thing, which is pissing me off. She said, it seems as though he may be splitting with his girlfriend because he is asking for half of my daughter's stimulus. I don't really know what she means by splitting half of his girlfriend, but either way, this ninja got a whole fucking nerve to be asking her for half of her stimulus and half her taxes when this nigga only pays $350 per month for child support. First of all, I wouldn't give a damn if he paid $1,000 per month for child support. He has no business asking you, no business at all asking you for your stimulus or your social security check or your income tax check or your DSS check or your freaking... So it doesn't matter what type of check it is. He has no business asking you for money out of your pocket. And then on top of that, she feels like, you know, she's trying to be reasonable. But let's just say this. It's not even finished. He's asking her to take him off of child support. Girls, ladies, women, whatever. If a man ever asks you to take his ass off of child support, please don't do that. Do you really think that he is going to keep the promises he's made to you while begging you to take him off of child support? Because I know ain't no lame ass man going to come to you and say, can you just take me off of child support? You know, they always got to come with a story. They're not just going to come out and say, can you just take me off of child support? Listen, I pay you extra. You know, you know I'm good. I'll make sure I, everything's taken care of. Just please take me off of child support, you know. They're going to come with a story. They're not going to just say, can you just take me off of child support? No, they're going to come with a story. And I guarantee you this story is going to be somewhat partial I make sure that 
Lily Bell, whatever the little girl's name is, son's name is, whoever. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna make sure that they. I'll make sure my kid is taken care of. I'll make sure my kid is good. I'll make sure he got everything he need. I'll make sure she got a pool in the backyard and a pony for her birthday. I'll make sure they got clowns when the birthday party comes. When the Christmas tree time comes, they're gonna have a big Christmas tree on the block. They're gonna have all the presents on the ground there. And if their little friends wanna come to the party and pay for everybody, I'm gonna make it rain. I'm gonna make it rain. I'm gonna have a bouncy house. Listen, I know this. I know this feel already. That's how men be, especially the ones who want to be deadbeats and tell you or ask you to take them off a child support. First of all, here's the thing. You got the audacity to ask any woman to take you off a child support than you as a real low life. I never had to take no man to court for child support because I feel like this. If you don't want to just give on your own because that is your child, then I'm not about to force you to pay for anybody that or take care of anybody. Because in the long run, at the end of the day, them kids is going to know who is really there for them and who took care of them. I ain't even got to say nothing, okay? Just like now... You know what I'm saying? I got two my two daughters here. And that guy that used to live here in my house, listen, I ain't got to say nothing to them because they already know. They've been through everything with me, so I really don't have to say nothing. Child support or not, I don't really need your money. I don't need anything. But here's the thing. When you are a crumb-snatching dude and you asking a woman, a female, a woman that's taking care of your child to take you off a of child support because you want to be a bum-ass nigga, then you got a lot of nerve. Like, that's some nerve. And then you want to ask for half the stimulus check, half the fucking tax refund, check and you're gonna ask to be taken off a of child support somebody ought to come and kick him upside his damn head girl first of all i wouldn't even ask him to watch our daughter anymore okay because if that's what y'all want to call it watch you got family in the neighborhood family in your area girl have them watch your daughter because it seems like once you tell him no i'm not taking you off a of child support no you're not getting half the stimulus check no you're not getting half of my income tax check this dude is gonna be like, I ain't watching her. I'm not about to watch her. Y'all already know it's always like with a man sometimes, not with all of them, because I don't want to bash all men. But you understand, for those who don't want to be a fatherly figure, for those who don't want to do their fatherly duties, who those who want to just be a bum ass. With them, it's like, if you don't wash my hand, I'm not about to wash yours, straight up. And that's how it be with some of them, which is unfortunate. It don't even have to be black men. It don't have to be white men. Puerto Ricans, it's every race, okay? So we're not gonna like like exclude any races. And this just goes for anybody. Women do it too, okay? If a woman is paying child support, they could be a deadbeat mom too. Just as much as there's deadbeat men, there are deadbeat women too. There are deadbeat fathers, there are deadbeat mothers too. But here's my thing. You don't never ask a woman, can you split? half of your income tax refund check with me let me tell you this it three let me let me add this up 350 dollars times 12 okay because i really you know what i'm saying i'm good with math but i'm not about to sit here and rack my brain real quick so 350 times 12 so he, he pays 4200 dollars a year for child support Woohoo! big fucking deal you act like that's a whole lot four thousand and two hundred dollars ain't shit that's nothing. That is nothing to take care of a child. Remember those commercials? If you could, for just five cents a day, you can feed them. Like, this is what this is making me feel like. $4,200 to take care of your kid is nothing. Let's, the little girl live with the mother. The mother gotta pay rent or mortgage, whatever. She gotta pay car insurance, okay? She gotta buy groceries, okay? She gotta pay electricity, okay? Maybe even a water bill, depending on what state she got. Maybe even a cell phone bill. Maybe even a cable bill and an internet bill, a gas bill. You know what I'm saying? Depending if she, she gotta use gas. Listen, I'm up to nine things so far is what she's gotta pay. And let's see, household things, like, you know, laundry, just tote, soap, toilet paper, shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Day-to-day -day living. I, I'm, I'm up to 10, and I'm pretty sure you girls could come up with more than that. So we got rent or mortgage, okay? So rent mortgage is kind of like the same thing. We're going to just put that there. It's for the house. Rent mortgage. We got electricity, you know what I'm saying? Because I have electricity here. You know what I'm saying? My my lights don't run without electricity. I also got gas bill because my water tank got to heat up, so I got a gas bill. I also get a water bill, okay? So if I don't pay that, we ain't going to have no fucking water, all right? I also have an internet bill because if I don't have an internet bill, well, y'all bitches ain't watching me right now, then, okay? I also have a cell phone bill, okay? Because if I don't have, like, who the fuck's going to call me? You know what I'm saying? I got car insurance bill because... 
I don't really want to get into an accident nowhere. Um, let's see. I don't have no cable bill because I have the internet. So I have like Netflix and Hulu. So, you know, hey, whatever. But some people still got cable, okay? I also got to buy groceries because if I don't, shit, we're going to starve to death. And yeah, I got household needs too because shit, I do like toilet paper to wipe my ass with. And I like soap to wash with and any other thing, you know, household things. And, you know, I got a dog to take care of. That's 10, you know. You know what I'm saying? I got more shit. So here it is. She got 10 things. And this little measly ass $4,200. Dollars a year ain't shit, okay? That right there was ten things that I paid a month, okay? Like my, my bills ain't that forty two hundred dollars worth, but I'm just saying it can be if I wanted to. Look, I'll turn the faucet on, let the water run all night, okay? And then leave all the motherfucking lights on if I wanted to. And let's see, um, well, and run the electricity bill up and, and shit like that. Like forty two hundred dollars a year ain't shit to take care of somebody's kid. And you gonna ask somebody to take you off a of child support, girl? If I was a nigga, if I was a man, and I all I had to pay. Here you, here you go. Here's the $4,200 for the whole year. Now leave me alone. And I don't even mean leave me alone like that, but you know what I'm saying? I done clear, clear my debt for the year. Like $4,200 ain't shit. What you gonna do with $4,200? Then you gonna be a low life at that and ask the woman for half a stimulus and half a income tax refund. First of all, you don't even live there, dude. You don't even take care of a little girl like that to be even asking for income tax and stimulus. Dude, tell your girlfriend to go get you a stimulus check. Won't you and your girlfriend go have a baby? Because she did say he split it with his girlfriend. I don't know what he split, but he wouldn't be splitting nothing of mine. If I got a social security check, that nigga wouldn't be splitting that shit. If I got an income tax refund check, that nigga wouldn't be splitting that shit. And damn sure wouldn't be splitting my stimulus check if I got one too. You're not about to be coming. And then go ask somebody to take him off of child support. First of all, if it were me, you wouldn't even have asked me that shit. Okay, because I would have looked at you like you have five different heads and told you to get the fuck out of my face and out of my driveway, house, the hallway, wherever the fuck we was at, just get the hell away from me, okay? But the, the person I am, you wouldn't even came strong and asked me to take you off of child support. Now, see, here's the thing. I had a dude that was like that, because I did say I got $12, okay? It went from $22 to $12. Did this old raggedy-ass Negro, my daughter Tati's father, try to say brought me to court for a reduction, a modification, okay, right before I moved here, right before I moved here, and I didn't even know anything about it, all right, I was not aware of the court date, because I never gave the court to my address when I moved from one house in New York to another house, I figured, for what, I wasn't getting child support, so what does it matter, you know, I got that phone call, the judge on the phone talking about why I didn't, you know, forward my new mailing address, for what? I haven't gotten child support in years. Why would I do that? He hadn't taken care of him in years. What does it matter? Sure enough, the judge was on my side. She said, well, Mr. Steele here is asking for a modification. Said he talked to you about it. I said, for one, I don't even speak to him like that. And for two, I haven't got anything in years. You know what I was told? Well, Miss April, you have got $25 a month now. I get $25 a month? Since when? Guys, I ain't seen no check. You have one of those cards, the child support cards. Don't you have that? I said, Your Honor, I threw that out the window like years ago when I realized there wasn't nothing on it but 25 cents. Okay? So I was sent a new one, and guess what? Over two years, I accumulated like a $500 amount on that child support card. All right? And when that shit ran out, I tossed this shit again because I already knew. I wasn't getting anything. But did he really take me to court for modifications? So you sorry bastard, you can't pay $25 a month? Like, what is anybody gonna do with that, okay? Men, if you have children, please be responsible for them because if you ain't, then who else is, okay? Of course the women are going to do that, but why would you wanna leave everything on a woman? Like, really, this is not a man, first of all. He is nothing but your baby daddy girl. Victoria, he is nothing but your baby daddy. A boy. BBD. Boy baby daddy stimulus. That's what it should be called. Boy baby daddy. Because that's what he is. Stimulus boy baby daddy. Or baby daddy boy. Whatever you want to call it. BDB. BDB. Baby daddy boy. Because that's what the fuck he is. When you could ask a woman to split half of her income tax with you because y'all have a kid in common and you don't even live there with her. You're not even in a relationship and you only pay $4,200 a year in child support. You ought to have somebody come through and slap you in your goddamn mouth. Where's his mother at? Where is his mother? Because how does she even raise him? You know what I'm saying? Listen, Victoria, I'm gonna just tell you like this, okay, straight up. The answer is no, no. Don't split anything with him. And if you take him out of child support, sweetheart, 
please don't email me and tell me that. Just please don't because just don't, just don't. Don't take him off of child support. $4,200 is not shit, all right? I wouldn't care if he bought stuff for the baby all year long, all year round. This is this is what I don't understand with people. This is, this is what I don't understand. Why is it so easy for a parent to walk away from their responsibilities. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to find the, the sense in that. Like, I'm trying to find so hard to make sense of how easy it is for another parent to walk away from their children. Like, with no communication, with no, with just no, no nothing. Like, how is it that easy to walk away from your responsibilities as a person? Okay, I'm not gonna single men out and I'm not gonna single women out, but you know who you are. If you have children with someone, man, female, whatever, how do you just walk away from your responsibilities and not have a care in the world? Or better yet, how do you do just the bare minimum, the bare minimum asked of you for your child, ordered by the courts? How did you just do that? Like, a man will just, he'll just pay $350 because the court ordered that to him. And he'll be okay with that. Like, so because that's what the court said, that's all you're going to do, right? Like, that's all you're going to do. Like, I can't, I find it just totally ridiculous. And I'm going to say this too. Like, my father, like, you know some, and this is probably why I don't ask for child support and I've never asked for child support. I only got that $12 is because this dude had other baby mamas, Okay. I wasn't the only one, so I, I was the one that got the least because I wasn't even trying to be bothered with his ass. I, I don't care. I'm not about to sit here and beg you for money in court. And if you don't want to help, then fuck you, okay? But I think I got this attitude from my mother because the same thing. My father, he didn't want to pay child support, and my mother felt like this. If I got to bring you to court and force you to take care of your daughter, then I don't want shit from you. And I got the same type of attitude. Like, I'm not, I, I don't feel like I should have to drag your ass to court to make you take care of our child that we lay down and humped and bumped for. And then you, you know what I'm saying? I don't feel like I should have to do that. Don't leave the responsibility on me. Because it takes two to tangle. Shit, sometimes it might even take three. Who knows? But you, you understand what I'm saying? Like, I don't understand. And then when they do pay child support, whether it's a man paying or a woman paying, some of them will just pay exactly and do exactly what the court says and won't even do 1% more. And, like, where the fuck is... Where's that okay at? Like, I'm trying to figure that out. Where's that okay? If you don't want to take care of your child and be responsible, what's going to happen to you in the long run is the child is going to see. And, you know, I always say, you don't got to tell the kids how this person or this parent is. You don't have to bash that, that, that parent in front of the child. You know why? Because they already bashing themselves. So the kid's going to see that. You know what I'm saying? Kids are like sponges. They soak up a lot of shit. So that's why you got to be real careful of the things you say and do around them. Because they, they soak up everything. You know what I'm saying? But it's unfortunate that we got a grown-ass man that got a girlfriend and want to come to his baby mama and ask her for half the stimulus and half her refund check because he pay a whole whopping $4,200 a year. All that nigga want is a refund for paying child support. And if you give him half that fucking refund check, girl, you just giving him back the child support money that he done paid you all year, which is basically letting him go just scot-free and slide-free like on thin ice. Listen, Victoria, don't give that dude not a damn thing. Don't even give him a piece of your mind. Let him continue to pay that child support. And if he don't want to continue to pay for it and he want to take his little vacations when he want, you know what? Child support to catch up to his ass. And when he do get a job, they will surely garnish it with no problem. You know what I'm saying? And he'll just have to keep on living like that because that little girl is only seven years old. And he got a whole eight, 11, 12 years left to go ahead and keep paying that child support. And hopefully you get more than that because $4,200 a year ain't shit, okay? Nothing at all. So y'all can go ahead and let Victoria know how you feel. This is kind of like a touchy subject subject to me like really irritated me like I just the audacity the audacity but you know what I'm saying hey to each his own but I tell you what he wouldn't even be stepping to me stop saying you watching your kids okay stop saying y'all watching y'all kids oh I'm watching my kids this weekend you're not watching your kids keyword my kids you're not watching them okay unless you're getting paid for that shit and you the living nanny or you the outside nanny or the babysitter services you're not watching them they're your kids okay let's stop saying that and for two stop begging women for half their money when you a grown ass man you got kids to take care of. stop just stop being irresponsible ungrown okay and grow up straight up so on that note you guys I love you see y'all in the next real talk stay 
Diva and Divalicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Leave your comments down below about this stimulus baby daddy boy. Boy, baby daddy, baby daddy boy. Baby boy. Boy. Yeah, we're going to call him baby daddy boy because that's what he is. Stimulus baby daddy boy. What? Because that's what he is. You asking somebody for half their check back and you ain't nothing but a little kid.